I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Артем, стой у Артем's been on another one of his mad trips up top. Good kid. He got hey, hey, too many explosions at this six. Where to now? Left across the square. Oh, hey, Damir, do you think the colonel knows what Artem been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. <laughs> hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself nah. with my slingshot. <laughs> Let him learn to stand up for himself. Yeah, How right. else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom. I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? 
Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Uh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture threat. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even later, sleep since you told him all those silly sure, stories. Else to go, <sighs> Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my <sighs> son alone. I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps <coughs> in D6 to point to a storage unit of some kind. It's something that will save us. I don't know. Huh. I doubt there is any magical salvation out there. What could possibly have survived on the surface after all these years? The only real solution and would be total evacuation. But As for Enough. So, Artyom, what do you propose? Artyom, that. Like a broken wreck after we all the had to go on the cell to now. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom. How are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. Pardon me, gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom? A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how are the you nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> Welcome back, Artyom. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like this. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. And? More of nothing? Artyom. The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> uh, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in a sick bay? All right, let's get moving. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hanta off-limit zone. <coughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks.
you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Again! It's a pack, just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Sure gave them hell. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that.
How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one you for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
Watchmen broke through. Workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. What's that noise? Send a group there to seal the exit and pick up the remains. Attention! The turntable is switching on. For the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Oh. Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! Human! How did you... Oh. oh my god! It's you she's been screaming about! Alive! You came for her! All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we've both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage. Great. 
Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Moving. Here, quick! Let's go! All on operate Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yerbeck, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Oh, the 
better be in the front lines then. This is rusty garbage. So what? It can still shoot. Yes, it can, but can it hit anything? Don't give me Don't give me that gun. The enemy strikes where you can't expect. It's an alert after all. Attention! The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. Artyom, I'm changing position. All unauthorized well persons done. are You're to be fired upon hangar. immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. Great job, Artyom. You can take the mask off, Artyom. Now we have to find your mech. Telling you there was a noise from behind the gate. There's nobody out there, that's for sure. It's the outside gate, so it could only be locked. What if it's the attackers? Group A, report to your status. What the hell is this? <sighs> Gotta tell maintenance. Group D, continue <laughs> patrolling the hangar. Group A, they checked the courtyard and generator room. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already. Oh, and I feel like shit. I should see the doctor. I should tell the agent. I'm trying to do a transfusion. Great. Ah, you can sneak ahead. No need to play heroes for a change. Let's wait till they walk off. 
I repeat, Group B redeploys the wind turbines on immediately. Group B is under heavy attack from Watchmen. How does that mean you're going to ready the train for me? What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? You only had an outing plan for tomorrow and found me canceled now. Just stay put for now. We'll have to have a long talk later about breaking the rules. Ah, safe posting, no responsibility. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We can easily have the whole day.
Let's do this together. Just a little. just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this misunderstanding. It's not my call, and you know misunderstanding well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's not all right, Spartans, throw these overboard and hit him ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Ah, finally! 
There is some good stuff. Now, keep writing to a stop. Well, the grenades will bury scratch your pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it. Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Artyom will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started to talk, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract you in the meantime. Is that you, Jacob? Yes, so cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. I just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you!
not just traitors. We are honest-to-God enemy saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. <laughs>